Okay, you had me so worried. I didn't know what happened to you when I woke up and saw you running in your bed. Calm down, Simone. As you can see, I am perfectly fine. Oh, sure. That's why you're lurking around the ski lodge in the middle of the night by yourself. Come on, let's go back to... Simone, the... I can't sleep. Not after everything that's happened. Well, it could have been worse. At least when you told Charity that you loved Miguel, she thought you only meant you loved him as a friend. Gee, that makes me feel so much better, especially when they're all caught up in professing their deep, undying love for each other. Okay, I know it's rough, but there's really nothing you can do about it. But why did it have to happen? That should be me with Miguel, not Charity. I've loved him all my life. Get out of here. This isn't doing me any good. You're right. I can't watch any more of this. How about we go back to the room and we can even raid the candy machine on the way. Chocolate always makes you feel better. It's not really going to work this time. Besides, I want to get out of here. We can't leave. The snowplows haven't cleared the roads yet from the avalanche. Simone, I don't care if I have to walk down the mountain. I want to get as far away from Miguel and Charity as I can. Ugh. If you're going to turn back, you better go now. No, Ethel never bailed out on Lucy, so I guess I can't desert you either. But remember this, you owe me one and you have to help me with Chad as soon as we get back to Harmony. Why not? It's not like I'm not going to have a lot of free time on my hands. I just really hope things work out better for you and Chad than they did for me and Miguel. Why wouldn't it? It's a completely different situation. Chad's not interested in any other girl. How do you know? It's not like he would tell you if he was. One thing I've learned, Simone, you can never tell what's going through a guy's head. I love you. I can't live without you. Are you talking to me, Miguel? I'm right here. My love, I want to spend the rest of my life with you. Will you marry me? It has to be me. Guess again, Charity. Miguel loves me. He wants to marry me. There's a light in that cabin right there! So, it's not like we can just go up to some total stranger's house and ask them if we can crash. Hey! You got a better idea? I don't think so. And I am not walking anymore tonight. I am exhausted. And my toes, my toes are frostbitten. I'm not sure I have any anymore. All right. Maybe they'll take pity on us. And I want to be rested and beautiful for when we get back to Harmony tomorrow and I see Chad. What? What do you see? Don't look. Just don't look, okay? Come on, we can make it back down the mountain if we really try. Oh, no way. I want to see, too. 